All right, guys, we're coming to you from the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest this morning. It is 4.22 in the morning. We have already seasoned the back side of our ribs. We've got them flipped over, got mustard on the front side. I'm fishing to lay down a good layer of that garlic jalapeno and that competition rub. We've got our outlaw pit fired up with some Royal Oak charcoal, getting good and hot, and we're almost ready to go on. And I can tell you, I got chill bumps on my arm this morning. It's storming, it's raining. This is my kind of weather. It's gonna eliminate a lot of the field. And so today we gotta make sure we stay on our cook and do what we're supposed to do. Gotta get that spice. Now we're gonna come back with OG competition rub. Have you sprayed this? The pan. Yeah, I mean, pan. You saying pan? Pam. Pam. Pan. I think I might be able to help with the pan pam dilemma. Yeah, that'd be great. Pam. 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 With There's an a M. D on the end. There's no D. Pam. All right. Now the reason that I'm being so particular about these ribs and arranging them on this rack because if you was to take this rib and turn it like that. When it cooks, it's gonna set like that. So if I take this rib and you see how far it's, I can stretch it out, right? I'm gonna bunch that rib up just a little bit, get the bones good and straight. And that way I know that enough meat between the bones when I get ready to cut with my knife to build a blind box, I can go right between them, no problem. That's why I like pushing them together, get a little more meat between them. It helps hold that moisture just a little bit more and every little bit counts. Y'all know how ribs get a high and a low spot sometimes? Well, if it's a low spot, you can take and stretch this side out, make it even, and bunch the other side up. They look good to me. They almost ready to go on. All right, it's 5.15, and we're fishing to go ahead and put them on and let this thing eat. So, here we go. Here we go, all or nothing. How you feeling about it, I mean, should be all right. I mean, a lot of factors go in this, man. You gotta get lucky, you gotta be good. You gotta hit the right table. I mean, I know we're good enough to be there and I know we're good enough to win it. Just gotta get lucky enough. Get on the right table. They ain't gonna be ready at 15 minutes. I think we're gonna go 30. We'll peek at it at 15 again. All right, let's get in here and look at them. We've been on for one hour. Now, grill lid shut, another 45 minutes, and we'll check them again. Thank you, brother. Thank Good you. luck, man. May the force be with you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. We ready? Whose heat gloves are these? I'll put them there for you in case you want. All right. I'm going to burn myself up. All right. There you go. We're cleaning them, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> 
Beep. Beep. <laughs> I'd tell the difference in these ribs. That's a good rack right there. Good meaty rack. Hey, so we Huh? We got six in the beef, but we all tied. First, yeah. How's that work? Hey man. I've seen the first. Is that a perfect score we got? Yeah, I've seen the first three or four yeah. on finals, uh, and you get a perfect score in finals and not make it in, you'd be fourth or fifth. All right, we're done wrapping these ribs. We're gonna let them go 45 minutes and check them. Start holding them. Fingers crossed. Everything looks good so far. We'll see. Should have pulled that all that ash up underneath. Fit. Can you pull it out? Yeah. Push it to the side. That way you can breathe, you know what I'm saying? The whole roll of half watermelon so the yellow is showing? I don't care, bud. Do whatever however you want to do it. It's okay. up to you. Okay. I trust you. I see how you decorate and do everything. I trust you. you believe me, I trust okay. you. Thank you. All right. I did bring a cutting, one cutting board. Okay. I know we're not using it, but I'm going to say the ribs is going to be where, right up in, right in this, I don't know. This area? Okay. Right now, probably this area. They need to be away from the fire. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to move it. Over here. Like this. Hey, put it right there so I can just tie that part of that. Tie that hole. Right there? Yeah. Tie that hole. Yeah, put it right there so I can just tie yep. it Yeah, he's won this a bunch of times. Yeah, he's old school. That's like, that's like, you can tell Where's the tray yet to set that on so we don't leak it everywhere? Bring him a, bring him a tray. All right, what we're doing, we're building our box inside here because we don't want any wind getting to us, or should I say glazing our ribs. We're not building our box yet, so we want to do it inside in a controlled environment. Hoping we ain't oversteaming in there. Oh, that really feels good. Mmm! Mmm! long look at it. That is hot. That really gonna be good. I'm gonna go ahead and be getting the other five or six in here next. Let me oh, open it up, Shane. All right, shut it down. Where's my brush at? Hey, come on. Yeah, but I need to serve these uh, first ones. Give me a brush. Alright. Woo! A little smoke makes you hurt. I have plenty of stuff to do. I might put one more thing right here. Okay. And maybe, you know, something right here. Just because of the angle, it yeah. looks dead. Yeah. I agree. Something right there and something right there, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Anytime, Good bro. Time. Thank you.
on the sauce, but you know what? I need a few bottles of my rub to set out here. Competition, garlic jalapeno, sweet sauce. Or no, this is rubs. Give me uh, garlic jalapeno and comp rub. All right, bottles. Yeah. Take the two plastic things off and set them up there on my table by the uh, wood and onion and charcoal. All right. Let me go ahead and look at the grill one more time and I think I'm gonna pull it in like three or four minutes. I think I got three to four minutes before I pull, all right? Four minutes before it pulls. Ready, bro. Let's do this. Did you say Pam? Pan? Time to get that the tweeter. I gotta get out here on these. Are mother ribs still on the pit? Mother ribs still on the pit, Austin? What about these mother ribs? Do you want them back on the pit? You said they're still on the pit. Do you want these back? Yeah. I mean, they really need to be stowed in a Cambro, honestly, uh, on the rack. But. Uh, the, 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 the. We finna go a minute and a half. Can you discuss the plan with me? Huh? Can you discuss the plan with me? You're right. gonna show on there, I know. Are you gonna get the slab off or am I? Um, you can. I let them stay tacked for about five minutes. Is that long enough for you? Yeah. I'll reglaze and recap. Mr. Riles. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I ain't seen you in a hot minute. How you been? I'm good. Yeah, you got your meal ticket? There you go. Thank you, ma'am. I'm Stephanie. Heath Riles. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Come on in, huh? This is my lovely wife, Candace, and our assistant, Lacey, today. So come on over here to the grill. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, look, thank you very much. It was thank very you. nice talking to you. Hope you enjoy everything. <laughs> Jake, what's up, man? Pretty happy with what you got? Yeah, yeah, I will say I was real happy with them. If we hit the right tables, you know, somebody's got to make it. So oh, yeah. maybe, uh, maybe we can be the one. I don't know. It is not finals, but I'm here to present. You have won at least top 10 in the 2023 rib division. Well, everybody, we didn't make the top three in finals, but we did make the top 10. We've just been notified. So I guess we'll see y'all at awards and see how we done tonight. I appreciate everybody following along. I'm proud of you, brother. You know that? No, I'm proud of you. You know that? I'm proud of you. I love you, man. I love you too, brother. You're a good dude, man. Yeah. You're like, like, for real. For real. It's all about the heart, man. It is true. This man here, man, he, he's always consistent. That's my boy right there. I call him every once. If I need any, he's there. Everyone's like, he, yeah, he's Brown's Injection, baby. Yeah! 
My man! man. Who showed it? I put the heat down. I put the heat rouse in there, then it was just like. She dancing, wasn't she? <laughs> I'm for sure. He brought the jacket, baby. That's what I hey, he, tell me how you feel about him winning and getting in the final three. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Me and Mo has been friends for, what, 15 I years probably? I bought the off of you, man. You did. And I'm going to tell you something. We've always clicked, always hit it off. Genuine. And I couldn't him be, and I couldn't be more proud of it. I'm him and his bride, dude, just for real, for real. We go out eat dinner, dude. I come down here, and I only see him once a year. And I'm, like, literally in stitches laughing. I love my boy. Mm, I love my boy. I love you too, brother. All right, so he, what are your thoughts? Tommy almost got it. What are my thoughts it's right now? On, it's been a long day. Well, I'm tired, but you know the weather is uh, the barometric pressure dropped. It got cold on us. It was raining this morning when I got up at 2:30. I mean, it sucks a lot of moisture out of ribs. So I knew it was going to be a hard day. Tried everything we could, but hey, at least we made the top 10. Uh, ain't nothing like that, so I guess uh, we'll see where we wind up in a few minutes. How you, darling? How you been? Red Division goes to Pete Riles Barbecue. Come on down here, Pete. There you go, kid. I know. Good job. Oh. Thank you, brother. Come on Thank down you. here, Pete Riles Victory, Mississippi's finest. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, brother. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. Come here, Heath. You're taking on some hardware, buddy. I know this is not the one you wanted. This is, and, and look, Heath got back into this last year, came in and, and entered in ribs specifically because a rib team has not won this competition. Then it had been 20 years, now it's 21 years as grand champion. You're ninth place, you're out of the grand champion running, but how you feeling today? Anytime you walk this stage, it's a damn good day. Yeah, a damn good day. Let me tell you something, he Browns makes a damn good rib every time too. Congratulations! He Browns barbecue! I feel good. Like I said, anytime you walk the big stage, it feels good. So ninth place, that just motivates me even more to put in more work, come back and try it again next year.